Hey everyone, I'm Tony Moore here at the 49th Annual Daytime Emmys with the one and only Mr. Dan Furigal, better known as EJ DeMero on Days of Our Lives. Hello. First of all, happy one year anniversary on Days. Thank you very much. How has this experience been for you, like being on the show and like really settling into the character of EJ? It's been a wild ride, especially the first couple of months on the show, just getting used to the speed, getting used to the amount of dialogue that you have to learn and kind of learning the tricks of the trade but now I, I, I kind of feel like I've, I've definitely got into my groove yeah. it's been it's been fantastic it's it's an it's so it's such a privilege to be able to be consistently working as well to be able to like come to the daytime Emmys and just take photos and chat to people like, it's just <laughs> it's crazy it's not something that coming from Australia I, I expected would actually ever happen like yeah. you'd like to like it to happen yeah. but now that it's it's kind it's, it's kind of surreal and it is going really quickly yeah. so i might look back and go ah oh, I, I don't know why i said that don't know why i said this <laughs> don't know how the photos are going to turn out um but it's it's fantastic it's fa and it's great to like see familiar faces so i feel more comfortable oh this whole thing <laughs> Now, what, what is the one thing that you've taken from doing soaps? Because, as you said, like, it goes so quickly. A lot of times there's so much dialogue, and, like, you have to have so many different emotions and, you know, between the scenes. What have you taken away from, for you, as an actor, w within this experience? Hmm, interesting question. Uh, I'd say the biggest thing is learning about, like, commitment of, you know, you have to work hard. And if you want to be the best of what you can be in this particular genre, you have to put in the work. Because, like, you you know, there's every way that you can, obviously, you can skate on by. But I've definitely learned um, how to, you know, head down, bum up, that kind of thing. Being, you know. Um, and I, I don't know why that term is for, like, commitment. <laughs> I think it might well, be I, I, like a sprinting thing. Like, you know, head down and... Listen, if you're in that position, that's definitely a commitment. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, I just think, just, and also, like, in the beginning, it was very hard for me to learn lines, it was very hard for me to kind of shoot the way it is, but it's the, I, I guess it's the knowledge that, like, if you just keep at it, eventually your body and your mind is going to adapt and it's going to feel normal and familiar to you. Like my, my brain's got phenomenal at really learning stuff quickly, but also letting go of stuff quickly. So I've learned to learn, like use that muscle. Um, and obviously in time that might work for, you know, other insp other like projects or something like that along the line, who knows. But um, yeah, it's just to know that you, it always starts with like one, one foot forward and just gotta keep going and eventually it'll become normal for you. Now we have to talk about the latest development uh, in the world of EJ is Bell. Um, we picked up on it many months ago that there was a lot of chemistry between Bell and EJ. How has it been uh, playing with uh, Martha Madison and, and kind of taking this different route with, with EJ and having this new, should I say, love interest in, in EJ's life? Possibly, possibly. <laughs> uh, Martha is fantastic to work with. She's such a sweet soul and I think I've spoken about this previously, but um, the way EJ and Belle's relationship developed on the show, Martha and mine's friendship developed that way on the show. So it was kind of like, you know, life imitating art or art imitating life, whatever it was. And so we just got comfortable with each other. We got familiar with each other. We worked well with each other. And so you see that all slowly growing on screen, which I think is fantastic for the show and fantastic for the characters. Um, but she's just she's just a sweetheart, and I, I love working with her. And, and it's I hope uh, there's not too much fighting within the fandom of, uh, about uh, our relationship. Well, I, I don't think you have to worry about a fight in the fandom, but when Hurricane Sammy returns... How they're, they're already advertising that. Yeah, yeah. They're already yeah, advertising yeah. that. I yeah. saw that just before. Um, well, I mean, you've got to have a little bit of a hurricane to kind of blow on through and, you know, cause some destruction. Yeah, um, yeah you know, things will be happening. If you, if you can describe it in one word, what's about to go down once Sammy uh, lands in Salem, what, what, what would that word be? 
Oh, I'm on the spot. Um, <laughs> you know we always put you on the spot. I mean, you like Hurricane Sandy, uh, uh, Sammy. Hurricane sounds pretty damn good. <laughs> like it's a hurricane, like it's a cyclone, it's a typhoon, it's a twister. Yeah. It just comes in and like, oh, okay. <laughs> Well, thank you, Dan, so much for always chatting with us. And thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you.